This is Pamela Combe with your News in 90 for Monday, September 9th. Jury selection begins today in the case of a woman who is accused of trespassing President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort in Palm Beach earlier this year. Yujing Zhang is facing charges for entering and remaining in a restricted building. The incident occurred on March 30th of this year. The Chinese businesswoman lied to security to get access to the property. Officials say she was carrying multiple cell phones and credit cards. She was even found with a device that could detect hidden cameras. Her motive remains unclear, but there is speculation of spying. If convicted, she could face up to six years in prison. Dozens of evacuees from the Bahamas escaping the aftermath of Hurricane Dorian were told to get off a U.S. bond ferry if they did not have a visa. After an announcement was made over the boat speaker system, about 130 people got off the boat in Freeport Sunday. Border Patrol say they are supporting the humanitarian mission, but everyone who comes to the U.S. must have a valid ID and travel documents. An Alabama school is taking measures to combat a vaping epidemic by taking down the doors of bathroom stalls. This comes after a student was found unconscious in a restroom stall after vaping two weeks ago. The principal of the school took the doors right off the stalls to keep the students from smoking. Many parents have come forward claiming this is an invasion of privacy. Despite this, school officials remain firm on the decision and the principal says he will not replace the doors until a solution for the vaping problem is found. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.